Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what are four simple ways that you can step into right now that will help you find love much faster, well, you are in luck because I'm going to be revealing what these are on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. Super pumped to be sharing with you four simple ways to find love faster. Not gonna waste any time for you, just go right number one. Figure out, inventory, all the ways that you're pushing love away. What do I mean by this? Well, you're gonna say, well, Bern, if I knew all the ways I'm pushing love away, I wouldn't be pushing love away. And I understand. So I'm gonna give you one simple tool out of many that exist that can help you start figuring out how you're subconsciously pushing love away. And that is answer this question, why are you not finding the love of your life? What's stopping you or preventing you from finding that love? You're gonna come up, and I want you to write this on paper, a long list of things, as many as you can think of, that seem real to you, so just be honest with yourself. If intellectually you say, well, this is not true, but in your heart you say it's true, write it down. And when you write those things down, anything and everything that has nothing to do with you, like the way you were brought up, you didn't have this education uh, in terms of your parents gave you a bad example, or maybe something that has nothing to do with you, like the city that you, where you live in has a low percentage of guys, or women your age don't find love anymore. Like anything that you come up with that you have no control over, or very little control over, is basically a story that you've created subconsciously that justifies why it's cool, why it's okay, or why it's acceptable for you to find love. Now there's nothing wrong with you not finding love, but if you want to find love, and you have stories that are stopping you from seeing reality, then that's a challenge, okay? So figure out what are the beliefs, what are the stories, and what are the things you say to yourself that make it seem like finding love is not possible. That's number one. Number two is close the loopholes. How do you close the loopholes? Well, any human being who is alive is going to do whatever he or she can to feel comfortable in life. And sometimes when you're not finding the love that you want, you'll do things that numb the pain of feeling alone. For example, you might find that there's this dude who you have no possibilities of having a relationship with because he's so far away from what you want. But instead of going out and connecting with more men, he texts you on a Friday night and you end up chit chatting for an hour and a half and he tells you how beautiful you are and he may even make some sexual suggestions that you will never follow through with but make you feel kind of excited about, life, about that situation. So in that moment, instead of feeling the pain of being alone, you're wasting your time with something that is lowering your hunger. Now, if you figure out what are those loopholes where you're putting energy away in ways that are just numbing the pain and lowering your hunger to get what you want, that is going to significantly cut down the time that it takes to find love. Why? Because a relationship like that could extend this process six months, a year, a year and a half more, unnecessarily. Number three, get way more uncomfortable. I start most conversations that I have with women that I have by saying most women, this is true of men as well, not just exclusive to women, but since I talk to women, <laughs> this is true about women, most women will not find the love they want. And the reason for that is because they'll be unwilling or unable to get uncomfortable enough in the short term to get what they want long term. So having that vision that to get what you want, you're going to have to sacrifice certain things in the short term. You're going to have to go beyond um, what feels okay in terms of just safe for you. What do I mean by that? Well, it feels uncomfortable sometimes to smile at a guy who is uh, across the room from you versus looking away. But that's what's needed sometimes to create a connection, right? It's uncomfortable to put yourself on a dating website where you're gonna get a lot of attention sometimes from guys who are absolutely not what you want and maybe even a dick pic or two in the process, right? Is it uncomfortable? Yes. 95% of what you find there is not worth it, but that 5% might be exactly what you need, right? So it's uncomfortable. Uh, it's uncomfortable to figure out how you can express more vulnerability. Because if you express more vulnerability, vulnerability, that means somebody may be able to hurt you more easily. But if you do it the right way, then you're also having a stronger emotional connection with that person. So this comfort in the short term is what's gonna get you what you want long term. Number four, be more strategic, get help. And when I say get help, it doesn't mean 
just get some free advice out there from your friends or from even free videos like this. Get like freaking mentorship, right? And I'm not saying that you have to do this with me. There's multiple people who help women find love, right? Uh, I'm one of them. We may or may not be a fit to work together, but what I'm saying is that if you are somebody who has attempted many different things in your life and is not getting the result that you want, you can save three to five fucking years, cut it off your curve line by having someone say, you are going at it this way and the real problem is this. That can save you so much time, so much pain, and also help you see things in yourself that you're not seeing and also hold a higher vision for yourself. You might think only this is possible and somebody might say, you know what, I've been through that mountain 250 times so I can tell you there's 10 times what you're wanting right now in someone. It's possible. And then lift up your vision and allow you to get exactly what you want. So that could be in the form of a mentor, it could be in the form of a really good book, it could be in the form of a very powerful online program, but invest in yourself. Invest in your practical and actionable knowledge so that you can cut the learning curve and get the result much faster. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful, my dear. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on my video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that shows up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less, very powerful stuff, absolutely free, Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.